Well, Robert, it's beginning to look and sound like 6th Street again. And earlier today, Governor Greg Abbott predicted that the most successful bars to reopen are going to be the ones that are keeping their customers safe. I found that earlier today at B.D. Riley's Irish Pub, who are going above and beyond. People are why we're in this business, and I love seeing smiling people and uh, pouring them a cold pint of Guinness. It's been 65 days since a cold pint has been poured at this Irish pub. Well, today, it's a different story. No one ever says this beer is too cold. No one ever says this bar is too clean. That's thanks to a new position, the health captain. It's a designated employee who makes sure tables are disinfected, people are maintaining safe social distances, and employees are filling out a form to ensure they are healthy and symptom free. Do you have any of these symptoms? Fever over 100, loss of smell or taste, muscle aches, sore throat, cough, etc. Yeah. And so how often are the employees have to fill this out? Every day. Every day before every day. Customers scan a code to get a menu on their phone. That keeps hands clean too. Customers appreciate those extra steps. Both just wanted to come up here and kind of get away and, and kind of spread our legs a little bit. So uh, it gives us a little bit of a sense that we're kind of getting back to normal, you know what I mean? TABC is already out on the streets, making sure bars are complying. But agents will be informing and educating before dishing out any penalties. We're going to have folks out there doing open and undercover inspections where needed just to make sure people are able to, again, voluntarily comply with the governor's guidelines. Not all the bars on 6th Street are open. As you can see, there are quite a few that are still at boarded up windows right behind me. Now, as for the live music venues, I spoke to those owners too. One told me that he simply won't be opening up his doors until he can at least let in about 75% of his building's capacity. He simply just won't make any money any other way. Reporting live in Austin, I'm Alex Capriello, KXAN News. These 11 states, including Texas, have reopened bars. That's according to the New York Times. Some of these states have not completely reopened. For example, in Louisiana, only bars with food licenses are allowed to operate.